Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Hugo, welcome to the Gear Show. Thanks very much. Second appearance, very happy. Awesome. Yeah. Look, guys, we're in the middle of four weeks of uh, real mental running around like crazy, going to lots of shoots, doing lots of things. So we're going to slip in a quick gear show for you today, which we're kind of calling What's in Matt and Hugo's Bag. Yeah, we're in the middle of a project, our Arcos. Uh, we're coming here like every week, so we thought we'd give you a rundown. What we take with us when we go bouldering, training, Yours is a bit more glamorous than mine. Yeah, so I, I, I'm going to stole this from the office this morning, but it is a good bag. It is, look, good looking yeah, bag, yeah. definitely. All, All right, right, on with the show. All right, so this bag is the tendon... Should I hold the mic for you? Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, thanks. This is awesome. So this bag is the tendon gear bag. Yep. Uh, it kind of does lots of different things. It's mainly designed for sport climbing. So we're going to be going through this bag properly in the future. Yeah. It's cavernous, it's big, it's got lots of slots and stuff. So I'm just using it purely for bouldering. So opening it up... Oh, it's chalky. Uh, oh, it is chalky, yeah. And there's a reason it's chalky. Because you've got chalk in there? I have got chalk, but I've got something that we need to talk about. Can we talk about the, 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 the bag first? The bag look at the bag first, because the bag looks quite cool. The bag is very cool. And I, I can't go over all the features because it, it's mainly a sport climbing bag. So it's got separate sections for quick draws that you can hang up in the top section, clip it in, keep everything organized. It's got a rope uh, tarp built into it. Big cavernous space for all your stuff. So. I think we'll go sport climbing wise in this bag when we can show it off fully. Is, is, sorry, is the idea that the rope goes in here kind of thing? Yeah, so everything fits inside it. So it's, it's like a one hit one. So you know, okay, when I go to a crag normally, I've got my backpack, I've got shoes, I've usually got my quick draws hanging off the backpack, I've got my rope over the top of me, I've got my camera hanging out the side, everything is a mess. Yeah. The whole point with this is it's all in one contained space. So you should theoretically have one bag for sport climbing and it's got everything you need in it. Okay, so let's look at the chalk bag. Right, okay, so chalk bag. And I've pulled this up as an example. This is the YMY chalk bag. We sell it on the Epic TV shop. It's been a great seller for us. We've done a review of this before. We did. So the top is magnetic. So it's, the idea is that it prevents chalk from coming out. So if you were to drop it, turn upside down, on a normal chalk bag, there's a big hole. With this one, the magnets stop it. <clears throat> it is great. Yeah. It is flawed. Yeah, I can hear a butt coming. Yeah. When we originally did this, so I got a real... <coughs> When we originally did this, uh, I sung its praises, yeah. and I do still think it's good. However, it does get chalk everywhere sometimes. It, that magnetic thing has got its issues. It sort of flips out the side. So, so you can see, it's like, it just doesn't quite... It, and when you... Get, does it sometimes get caught like that, and then it doesn't... And then the chalk comes out anyway? Yeah, so if you overfill the chalk bag, the bottom of the magnet flicks the chalk back up again. Yeah. It does work, it's got its limitations, it's not perfect. I'd still recommend it, but I do think that it's not quite as perfect as we originally perhaps said it was. It's not 100% proof. No, I was keen. <laughs> I was overly keen. Yeah. Uh, I still use it, I still like it. Don't overfill it and be aware that it still chalks. The chalk still goes everywhere regardless of sort of what you put it in. That's the reality. Yeah. Like, like said example. Yeah, this, this bag was new a couple of days ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you? So your chalk bag... Uh, uh, I mean... I don't really know, but basically, like mine isn't so as extensive as yours, but essentially I've got my lucky t-shirt, right. which uh, I wore last week, people will know, in the, this like an Arc'teryx nice breathable one, uh, which gets very smelly. Yeah. You know how they, how they do? I do. Have you washed it since last week? No, it's like, it's my good luck t-shirt. I want to send again. Anyway, so that's, that is nice, but smelly. I'm going to put that over there. We, uh, we should maybe explain where we are. We haven't done that. Um, we're in the Arcos Climbing Wall, which is near Geneva, and mm -hmm. we're here for, me and Hugo's, as you said, we were in this challenge thing. Yeah. You can watch this show every single Tuesday for the next couple of Links. weeks. Links down Links everywhere. Place. Yeah. Sorry, carry on. Uh, no worries. So basically, got this chalk bag, uh, which is a charcoal chalk bag. Mm -hmm. I'm not even sure that we sell it in the Epic TV shop anymore. But if we do, I'll link in the description. I've also got this, um, which is a little beauty of a brush by Silly Goat Holds. Again, we don't sell this in the Epic TV shop, but you know, who cares? Well, potentially we're going to. Are we really? Well, I'd like to, because yeah. I've got a set as well. I freaking love them, and mm. the bloke who does it is, is a lovely bloke. Yeah, exactly, and he sent us these, uh, and we've been using them. Very, uh, they're vegan as well, which uh, for me is a very good thing. I'm sure it's for everyone's a good oh, thing. It's important for me we, too. We like a vegan. Yeah, I love a vegan. Every now and then. Uh, okay, so basically that's the Silly Goat Holds. I mean, uh, what else to say other than it's super solid, it's vegan. The bristles are great. Okay, so I wanted to shout out another brush, which is Sublime. Now, yep. the reason I want to shout out Sublime is because of one reason. This is the Slimline brush. The advantage this has is it's slimmer, mm -hmm. it's lower profile. So when you're sport climbing, it slots far easier into your chalk bag, way easier than a fat brush like the one you've got. So when you work in a sport route, you know when you go up, you've got the crux, you're resting, you want to just brush it off a bit. 
I find if I've got a chunky brush in my sport climbing bag, it gets sort of stuck yep. and I drop it. With this one, it's really slim. It's still got the brush head. There's like 9,000 bristles in this they thing. Look, they look like nice, nice brush heads. Oh, it's brushy. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Uh, but it fits in a chalk bag. And Cut to slow-mo of the brush heads. Really? Ooh, like 120 frames. Yeah. It's a good brush. I've used them and they are practically indestructible. They really are. They're, they're solid things. Very good. Very good. All right, let's move to, uh, I did my t-shirt, my lucky t-shirt. I feel like they might be your lucky trousers. Yes. So there's a story with these trousers and there's an up. There always is. Yeah. So I got given these trousers pretty much a year ago to the day from Black Diamond. They were very kind, sent us over. We did some films with them. This is the Black Diamond forged denim. And I have worn this practically every single day of my life since then. When I'm shooting, for example, you know, we, we have a lot of kit to carry. We don't have a lot of space. I'll bring these trousers because when they're not looking like this, they look fairly smart. I can then wear them. And then when I have to climb for a shoot, there's no change around period. So for sure. forge denim, uh, I have, these are now in like destroyed. I mean, I've got huge yeah. holes, the bum's falling out. They are so durable. And I, this is weird because they're falling to bits now, right? No pair of climbing jeans has survived me for this long. I had Prana ones fall to a bit of the crotch. I still wear these. The cr crotch, the crotch for me is a, is a strong point. Now, how is the crotch? I think you'll notice 100% crotch cover. Look at that. No damage. So the damage is to everywhere else other than the crotch. Yep. Uh, the one thing I will say, pockets, bit of a letdown. If you're like me and you shove things in your pockets, including keys, the pockets went through quicker than the trousers go through. Now, some of that is my error because I do stuff things in my trousers. Keys are sharp, they go through it, but the pocket lining isn't the thickest. Just watch that a little bit. Uh, maybe, maybe line it with some like gaff tape or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, they've been great. Gritstone, uh, indoor plastic, all around the world. Literally all around the world I've worn these things. Everyone keeps asking me why I climb in jeans. These are stretchy, guys. They're stretchy. They've got lycra in them. They've got spandexy stuff. They stretch. So they're amazing. I love these. I'm getting a re-up of them. I can't wait to wear them again. Thank highly you. recommended. Highly, highly recommended. Very good, very good. All right, okay, next up, what have we got? Uh, I'll, hold, I'll hold you. Shoes, let's talk shoe talk. This is the meat of the matter. Uh, La Sportiva. So La Sportiva uh, Katana Lace. Uh, these are basically my shoe that I use. I don't really use any other shoe. Uh, if, if, I, if any of you out there uh, probably are in a similar boat to me in that you don't go climbing that much and every time you want to climb, you don't really want to bother with like uncomfortable sore feet, but you want some kind of performance as well. I mean, I can't recommend these high enough. Like these just, every time I put them on, you just feel like you're in kind of Zen mode, I find. But your feet just feel comfortable, but they feel compact, feel like, and, and they're kind of sensitive enough. We've been doing a little bit with kind of like Vibram recently, talking about the um, different rubbers. These have got excess edge. So they're kind of like nice and supportive, but at the same time, they, they're precise as well. They're, they're, um, they're not like pure kind of bouldering, like hardcore, like floppy kind of shoes. But I don't know, for me, for an intermediate, for a kind of what, 6A, 6B climber, I mean, they're perfect. Got a little bit of an aggression. The laces don't bother me at all. Laces are good, in fact. We, we speak, we're speaking about a lot of You can do yours up, can you? I can do, my, I can do mine up, yeah. And they don't come undone. Um, and it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't take too long. This thing like 25 minutes to do my laces up. Uh, <laughs> I, got, I got a lot of stick last week for not being able to do up shoelaces properly, which is not my point, but it doesn't matter. Um, solid sole, solid so sole. rubber goes, so it's supportive in that midsole. Yeah, exactly. So they've got that excess edge, and, and I don't, like, excess edge can be like, uh, they can have that kind of space in the middle, right? Um, I've seen it on a few shoes like the Scarpa Instinct, they've got like a bit there and a bit there. But essentially, it's like just really solid, um, but it's comfortable. Like, that's for me, that's the main part. Like, you, get, you have comfort with a bit of um, performance. I think you win it, do you know what I mean? Uh, so for me, intermediate shoe is perfect. I, can't, I couldn't ask for any more. And to be honest, for somebody like me, I'm probably just gonna buy the shoe over and over and over and over again. Yeah. Although the Attacky, which is kind of similar, I would, quite, I would probably try next if I was gonna try another one. Cool, uh, my, shoe, my shoe, I'll yeah. give you that. So this is the new Booster S. Booster S, yeah. Booster S, yeah, the new Booster S. Uh, Vibram XS Grip. Two. Two, had to yeah. think about that for a sec. Look, th this shoe is a bouldering weapon, right? I have never worn something this soft. It's just so bendy. The rubber is so soft, you can, you can manipulate the entire shoe. Uh, it takes a bit of getting used to. I've been wearing lots of stiff shoes. This thing is, is like a, I don't know, it's like barefoot. It kind of wraps around the holds. Um, I'm not expecting these to last forever. These are like a high performance, very soft. I keep leaving skid marks on the wall, if that's what they're called. Yeah. Uh, but they're lovely, and I'm only two weeks in, but I keep smiling because I do find them ridiculously sexy. 
and a big toe patch here, which you like. You like a wadger. I, I love a wadger. The toe patch, in fact, is pretty much the entire front section of the shoe. Look, this is going to be a bit rubbish on like limestone vertical terrain. It just is, right? Here at Arcos, big overhanging cycle block wall. Perfect for that. Good for like toe hooks, heel hook. Yeah, toe hooks very good. The heel, I'm very quickly going to mention because I will talk about it more. Looks like it shouldn't fit. Looks like it's baggy, but it's so soft that the second you lay the heel on a surface, it flattens onto the rock. So you get a huge squoosh of rubber onto it. It's interesting. I haven't tested it fully, but at this stage, I love wearing this shoe. Nice, 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 nice. And comfortable? Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> Enough. Comfortable Stop. enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because we chatted a lot about expensive stuff. Yes. <clears throat> this bag of chalk starts from three euros fifty on the Epic TV shop. Seven Sisters, super fine chalk. I've been banging on about it for ages. It's not everyone's cup of tea. It's a bit weird. You tried it last week and you're like, what is this? Yeah, it's, it is nice, but it's weird. Yeah, super weird. Yeah. Very, very reasonable value though. We've been using it exclusively because they sent us a huge box of it, uh, but I can't stop using it. So if you, all this stuff we've been talking about is a bit too expensive for you. Starts in three euros 50, absolute bargain. And it sells out super quick, so hurry up. Well, those guys have got like that. Uh, you know, in the street, they've got like a beret on, they've got like a French, they've got white face. Uh, a mime. Mime mouth. So if you, if, like, I, I reckon that would work. It's so thin and so sticky. It'd probably work if you wanted to do a mime mouth. That's very true, yeah. Well, I could powder, I could make it myself up. It could be like your, ne your, your other use for climbing chalk, other than weightlifting and climbing and stuff like that. Um, right, that's it. That's it. We've got to go and climb now. Yes, we do. Uh, thank you for watching. A uh, bit of a weird show. I hope you enjoyed it. It's genuinely what's in our bag at the moment. We had to come up with this a little bit last minute. So we can't fake this. It's and all the, all the kit is... Oh, sorry. sorry. All the kit is I was going to throw to you. All the kit is... Lovely. It's on the... Oh, all the kit is on the Epic TV shop, minus some of it that we've talked about, because a lot of what we talked about isn't. That's true. Yeah, some of it. What is on the Epic TV shop is down below. Check it out. It's our shoes are definitely on there, so go and check them out. Bye.